Hi Year 7, um, I hope you're all well and enjoying this lovely weather that we've had recently. Uh, I just thought I'd do one of these learning videos today um, just to talk you through a few tasks that I'd like you to complete. So let's get started. Um, today we are looking at chapter 17 and we're going to go through a summary and an analysis of that. So, summary. So obviously the first thing I want you to do is actually read the chapter. So, read chapter 17 um, and then we can go through a summary. So, summary. Um, mother becomes increasingly unhappy with life at Outwith, especially since Kotler, her only friend, has been sent away. Bruno hears mother and father yelling in his office. He realises there may be a chance for the family to go back to Berlin and he doesn't know how he feels about that. He can hardly remember his friends there. Grandmother had passed away and he never hears from grandfather, whom father says has gone senile. Bruno would also miss Schmel if they moved away. So life goes on as usual for several weeks. Gretel becomes more obsessed with her maps and mother takes more naps and drinks more medicinal sherries. One day, father summons Gretel and Bruno into his office and asks them if they are happier out with. Gretel admits she is lonely and Bruno is unsure what to say. Father says the children and mother may return to Berlin, though he must stay out with due to commands of the fury. Father says he does agree that out with is not the best place to raise children. Bruno responds that there are hundreds of children on the other side of the fence. Father demands to know what Bruno knows about them, but Bruno just replies that he has observed them from his window and has noticed that they all wear striped pyjamas. Bruno says he has seen them, but has not been watching them. Father announces that they are to return to Berlin within the week. Bruno dreads having to tell Schmel that he is leaving. Okay, so I would like you to make some notes on this summary. So that's the second task I'd like you to do. So obviously um, what I'm saying is what's written here, but a bit extra. So you might like to pause the video or rewind um, just to listen what I listen to what I've said um, because what I've said is more than what is written here. Okay let's move on then. So the next thing we're going to look at then is some analysis of this summary. So with his new life at Auschwitz and with grandmother dead and grandfather senile Bruno no longer feels an attachment to Berlin. He has become accustomed to his afternoons with Schmel who is now his best friend and so feels conflicted about moving back to the city he once longed for. There is clearly marital troubles in the family, but Bruno remains typically oblivious. So again, um, make some notes on what I've written here, because this is um, important for when we're writing those PEA chains. Okay. So here's another task for you. So everyone needs to find quotations to support the above analysis. So where is evidence in the text that this is going on? Um, bronze and red flight paths, I'd like you to add context as well as quotations um, to this piece of analysis as well. So what's happening in Nazi Germany um, at this time? Okay, so we're now going to do some more analysis. So with Kotler gone and with him seemingly and with him seemingly any excitement or sense of agency, mother again hates life at Auschwitz. The onset of the lice then helps her complete her case against raising children at a concentration camp, and father consents to letting her take them back to Berlin. Bruno is upset at the prospect of uprooting his life once more, especially now that he has a best friend and a secret life of exploration at Auschwitz. Father clearly recognises Bruno's extraordinary innocence and ignorance, and seeks to preserve that. 
Bruno, meanwhile, finally has to pretend to be more naive than he really is. Father only seems to have qualms about his job when it comes to his children, as Bruno's increasing knowledge of the camp's reality cements Father's resolve to move the family back to Berlin. So again, um, with this piece of analysis, I want everyone to find quotations um, to support to support it. And then bronzer red, again, I want you to find some context to add to this analysis. So the whole point of that is to create a piece paragraph or a PEA chain. So we've got our point, we've, we will then have evidence, we've, we've already got analysis, which I've done for you, and then we need to add some context. Um, and then we're kind of creating this GCSE style answer, okay? So, flight paths, woo! So, these are the flight paths um, that I would like you to do, the tasks. So green, I'd like you to describe the friendship between Schmel and Bruno. Remember to find quotations to support your point, okay? Uh, yellow, I want you to describe the friendship, um, remembering to find quotations, but I also want you to evaluate your point. Um, bronze, I want you to answer this question. So what are the key themes in The Boy with Striped Pyjamas? Why are these themes important to the novel as a whole? So you might like to start with your point, add some evidence, and some analysis. Red, what are the key themes in the text and why are these themes important to the novel? And I want you to take it one step further and create a peace paragraph or a peace chain. So we've got our point, we've got our evidence, some analysis, context, and then the last thing is effect on the reader. So what is this quotation um, saying to the reader? Why did the author decide to use that word instead of another word? Um, what do you think the author is trying to do? Is he trying to convey a message? Is he trying to make us feel something? Okay, so that's what we mean by effect of the reader. I hope you're all enjoying my animations in this PowerPoint as well. I know I am. And here's a meme as well. Um, all right then, so once you've done that, I suggest you pause the video, have a look back at that summary and analysis so you really know what's going on in this chapter. Um, I'll give you a clue. This chapter has a lot of tension in it, okay? Um, it's all about creating tension and how does the author do that and what does the, what does the read feel um, as a result of this tension? What is the point? Okay, so there's a hint for you. Um, and then we can then go on to our review section. So, um, review. So what have you found most interesting about this text slash unit of work so far? So what's really stood out to you um, during this unit? Is there any anything that you thought, "Wow, I never knew that before, and now I did"? That's what I wanna. That's what I want to know from you. Okay. Um, so thank you for listening. Um, if you've got any questions, comment in the um, video below on YouTube, or email me, or write it in Teams, or anything like that. I'd love to hear some feedback. Okay. Uh, well, have a good day anyway. And thanks for listening.